This is not a device for streamers. This is a device for, I should, I'm trying to think of who this is for. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much disagree with Harris on this one. A couple weeks ago, I was scrolling through YouTube and I found Harris Heller's review of Fifine's Ample Game SC3 audio mixer. Now this is a budget audio mixer for new coming streamers and recorders and content creators. This mixer has a ton to offer newcomers into the space. This is already one of the absolute cheapest mixers that you can get on the market. But on top of that, as I'm looking right now, it's on sale. <laughs> From the normal $58 price, 3,000 people bought this in the past month. I'm not surprised. It packs a big punch, and I'm excited to walk through this mixer with you guys, show you who's actually the target market and the target audience who should be buying this. Okay, so let's talk about some of the features and the overview of this product. In the box itself, you guys will receive three things. You guys will receive the mixer itself, the power and data for the mixer, which comes in the form of a USB-A to USB-C, and then you'll receive a 3.5 five millimeter to send your audio to its outsource if you're going through the line out. The Fifine SC3 mixer includes an XLR microphone input enhancing audio quality for live streaming. It's built in 48 phantom power broadens the choice of microphones from condenser to dynamic, allowing the direct use with condenser mics without any extra peripherals. You have up in the top your 48 volt for condenser microphones. You can hit that on and off to actually send voltage into your microphone to power it. Underneath that, you have your auto-tune. As you select your auto-tune buttons, you can change the note or the pitch that it is auto-tuning to. So, and the auto-tune can be in different keys. To turn it off, you just hold it down and you'll see that the light turns off on it. Underneath that, we have the four different buttons for recording small audio samples, and you can play those back from your line out or your monitor. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. From here, we have our faders, which I think is one of my only complaints about this. They don't feel the absolute best, but for a, you know, a $38, a $40, or even a $57 mixer, I'm not too upset about how they feel. But as you do move up and down the faders, there is a light meter that will move it to a certain gain volume. And then once you let go, it'll go away and actually just show uh, the actual input sound that is coming from your microphone. Right now I am recording my microphone, which is the Fifine K688 through the Fifine SC3. I've set my gain level to where I want it. On the right, you have your button to change your lights. You can also hold it down and the lights will turn off. You can also change your voice by clicking on these voice changers. We have six different ones that you can do. You can change to a male. You can change to a female. A robot. A monster. A baby. And an elder. To stop changing your voice, you just hold down on this guy and it'll go back to normal. So the optimal PC setup for this is very simple. So you actually have your uh, output and input through this guy. When you connect this wire into your PC, it will read this as your headphone and your microphone. So when you play a video on your PC, it will actually come through your headphones and your line out from this guy. So it will input the sound into here, send it out these two outputs. But it will not take that video that's playing and bring it through here and then send it back out. So only your microphone is coming out of this and everything that you play through your PC is coming into this wire through the USB-C. As you can see, I have my headphones plugged into the headphone jack here and I have my mic monitoring turned on. If I turn off my mic monitoring, now I just can't hear it in my headphones, but you guys should still be able to hear me because the audio is still running through this cable. So this headphone jack will control what's coming through your PC. So when I turn it up and down, I won't be able to hear like videos or gameplay that's happening through my PC. And I also won't be able to hear my microphone. Of course, if I turn the microphone monitor off, I also can't hear my microphone. Now the line in can be a guitar, a piano, anything that you want it to be. Now your line out, if you're only using on a single PC setup, could run to a set of speakers. Now your microphone will come through your speakers unless you turn your mic monitor off. So this would be useful after you're done streaming, after you're done recording. Now Harris Heller, to an extent, is correct. You cannot separate what comes through your headphones like your microphone versus your PC volume because your PC volume comes through here, your mic comes through here, and they both go into your headphone jack and out through the headphone jack. So you still will need to control your audio of your game, your uh, you know your Chrome browser or Discord. Now Fifine did say that they were making another version of this guy that would have that capability. It's similar to a GoXLR and other things like it in these ways where you can have the different voice changers and you can record your own things. The only difference is, is that you can't 
change different groups of programs or different inputs and outputs from your computer. However, it is a game controller for your audio that comes to your headphones, along with having some cool features for changing your voice and other things like that. I wanna walk through something real quick from Harris's video that sounds worse than it actually is. And that sounds weird to say because I normally agree with Harris and what he says on some of these things makes sense but it makes it sound like it's worse than it is, especially when I was using it. And I was like, oh my gosh, if I was starting up right now and I wanted to use this device, I mean, this would be a perfect device for me to use if I just had a computer, a microphone, and a, a, a PC, a one PC setup. So let's listen to this. There are a lot of things missing on this, kind of important things, because this is supposed to be a full audio mixer for gamers. It's, it's in the name, Game Audio Mixer. But the first thing I noticed was that there was no fader for game audio or for PC audio at all. The faders are labeled mic, line in, headphone, and line out. And when you plug this into a PC, the PC audio does play through your headphones, but you have no control over the volume of your PC. He is correct in saying that you don't have a separation between your microphone gain in your headphones and your PC gain in your headphones. I wanna make sure you understand what I'm saying here because this might actually be a deal breaker for some of you. You have no way to change the volume of the sound coming from your PC. That's not true because the PC comes to the USB-C on the back and it plays through your headphones. As it plays through your headphones, you can turn this up and down to change what the sound is like through your headphones of what's coming through your PC. You can change the volume of it. It's just you're changing the volume of everything being sent to this. It's just taking in the input of your PC and then you have a fader to turn up and down for it. He makes it sound like by literally saying that you can't change the volume, you can change the volume. The only thing is, is that it changes your headphone monitoring of your microphone too. It's what's coming through your headphones. Now, again, it's not a $200, $300 mixer where you could separate your microphone and what's playing on your computer to go send to your stream. This is the budget version of that, which sends everything to one source. And you definitely have no way to control your game volume, your teammate chat volume, your music volume separately. You can't even control them all together. You can control them all together. He is correct that you can't change them separately, but he's not correct in saying that you can't change them all together. You can change them all together. Just you're also changing the monitoring of your microphone. This is more like an audio router rather than a full blown, you know, computer PC audio controller. I believe that this is truly useful and truly usable with a one PC setup that you have multiple inputs for. If you are a person who's streaming right now on Twitch playing piano or something, this I, I believe is very good for you because you can separate the two inputs that you're bringing into your stream. And you can also monitor your own microphone through that live. You there is no delay so it's like you can monitor everything through your headphone jack and also then send it out to speakers if you want it these are really great points that he's bringing up about this you know 30 40 dollar mixer but he's bringing it up like it's in a setup that's multi thousands of dollars and not a starting content creator streamer setup. Again, I'm not fighting for Fifine in this case. I just think you have to give this a fair chance. When I was starting out streaming, this is exactly what I would have wanted because I play guitar. So I could, could have put my guitar through this rather than having to buy some weird quarter inch to USB. So thanks for joining me for this in-depth tutorial and breakthrough of the Fifine SC3. If you have any questions or comments about if you've had experience with this mixer, drop them down below or head into the Discord if you have any questions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next one.